Hi is everyone and welcome back to another Work No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to some reroll strategies and reroll methodologies. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. First thing being right here, we're gonna be looking at the salted email method. If you jump to this website, tempmail.com, you can actually get a random email. You're gonna go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. We're gonna jump back into the game. Once you're back in the game, click register now. You're gonna go ahead and paste that email in. You're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna request for a verification code. It's going to send Send you a verification code and then you're going to jump back into your browser and scroll down you can see that alchemy stars actually sent us an email with the verification code this is what it's going to be so we're going to go ahead and copy that and then we're going to jump back into the game and paste the verification code in and then oops that's not the whole thing so let's go ahead and just type it out five two eight there we go all right so now that we have that we're just going to type in whatever password that we want yep super secure you should definitely use that password you're going to hit next and and then now you will have the ability to be signed up, select whichever server that you're in. It's up to you. Just note that JP might be getting some exclusive stuff. They have like a Nishoji, Nishojin, something like that, a VTuber collab going on. Global might be the one that you want to join or maybe even see. Personally, I'm going to try out JP and Global. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a JP server. It doesn't really matter which country you pick in and note that everything is still in English somehow. So that is really cool. So I don't see how there's any like negatives to playing in JP right now, but that is one way to do it. We're going to go ahead and log out. That is the way to roll with assaulted email using tempmail.org. That's going to be the link right there. Now, I'm not going to show you BS Tweaker because this is kind of dangerous. I just want to point that out there, but you can use it. I'm going to show you the root ID deletion, and this is all thanks to JulieWin. All right, JulieWin is going to show you where this file is located and what you need to delete. So you're going to jump into androiddata.com Tencent Bayant, and then you're going to delete the system Android 12 file. You can only access this file in particular if you are in root. Now let's go ahead and show what that looks like if I don't have root. So if I go into my home page, you can actually download CX File Explorer, go to your main storage, go to Android, go to data, and you can access the com Tencent. But since we are not in root, we cannot delete that file. So if you have the ability to do so, you know, go ahead and delete that file. Sometimes there's a shared press folder in here. Sometimes there's another data folder. I think that one requires root as well, but it's up to you however way you want to reroll. I think the best way is probably going to be the be the salted email way that I just showed you. All right, with the tepmail.org. Let's go ahead and jump right back here. And the next way to technically reroll is by cloning your instances. So let's go ahead and jump over here. So as you can see, we have multiple instances of Alchemy Star. So you can just open up multiple of them. Let's Let's say you don't want to do temp mails and all that stuff you can just you know make multiple instances delete it clone it whatever you need to do this is a popular methodology that people like to do when re-rolling but those are going to be the ways to essentially re-roll within the game you have the salted email which i really like because temp mail is pretty reliable there's no like gimmicks to it and in case you want a new email you just hit delete right here and it's going to generate you a new email just note that the email that i just used is lost forever unless someone plans to re-roll with it for some odd reason you know feel free to roll with this one but then you know jump back here you can use bs tweaker if you want to do like the root methodology or you can just straight up if your phone is already rooted you know just delete the system.12 android file and then go ahead and do the clone instance way honestly tap mail is definitely the way to go let's go ahead and talk about some tips on what you should do for your initial reroll so if you manage to get to stage one four you will get all of these rewards based off of pre-registration tutorials from the mail from logging in and essentially one multi is going to be 300 loom amber so in total you should have 2400 loom amber so that's going to be eight pulls on a normal banner three solar flare with 2400 loom amber you can do eight pulls on the limited banner or you can do 16 pulls on the beginner banner i don't recommend doing pulls on the beginner banner we'll talk about why and then let's go ahead and jump into the extended reroll which you can look into all right i think it's pretty worth it if you're a hardcore free to play who wants to maximize their capability get strong units in the very beginning because just know alchemy stars is going to be a purely pve game okay so after you hit 116 you are going to be you know rushing the 2-1 like cutscenes as you can see here in the red and you will be granted 3700 loom amber 12.33 multis which is you know 123 rolls 18 pulls from the yellow beacons and that is how you're going to maximize your re-rolls for you know jumping instead of 1-4 straight into 116 it's up to you you can either Either do you know eight multis or you can do 12 multis i feel like either or you'll be good this is 
just the extended method in case you want to go approach it that way. And just note that when you are doing polls, you want to at least get one six star from the limited banner and then another six star on the beginner banner because on the beginner banner, you're going to be guaranteed a six star. This is all based off of CBT. So if something changes, stuff changes, right? But you are guaranteed a six star on the 21st roll. So the way to maximize your six star capability is you get a six star on the limited banner and then you get another six star on the beginner banner. And that's the way you want to do it. And of course, you can feel free to use like your solar flares or your yellow like summon tickets, whatever you want to call it in order to do single draws and all that stuff, right? The teams that you're going to want to roll for are either a one mono team, two possible mono teams. And of course, you can try to run a gimmicky team where you just have a bunch of tile converters. I don't recommend trying to, you know, roll for more than one team because it can be a little bit overwhelming and you might be spreading your resources a little bit too thin. But let's go ahead and jump into the actual banners and talk about a few things. And of course, credits to Julie Wynn for pretty much posting this information, right? So this is going to be the beginner banner, all right? And all of these units like Gronru, IC, Seriel, Nicanus, they're all really good. Now, when it comes to this, they're also very similar. They're all tile converters. Believe it or not, Seriel has a plus defense buff and so does Nikinis. And then when it comes to IC, she's more of self-buffing attacker and she also recovers her own HP. So she's sort of like this vampiric sort of character. It's all based off of like how much health the team has and how much damage she does and all that stuff. Cause true damage equal to 35% of IC's attack and recover HP by the same amount. So she's sort of like, I guess a vampire in some ways in that sense. And then Gronru, she's going to have a one magnetic storm per three rounds at the start of the battle. The next chain combo deals an additional 90% to one enemy with the area of attack and inflicts paralysis. So it sounds like she's a combination between a tile converter and a detonator since she has some aoe but she's gonna be like the most dps oriented out of like you know the six star group that you can get right here if i were to pick one i would go with serial mostly because i'm going for a water based team honestly you can't go wrong with any of these like four units they're all really good because tile converters are the best set of units in the entire game because they can essentially make it so that you can get an extra turn if you do the 15 combo Let's talk about the 15 combo a little bit later but this is going to be the the mainstay banner. Now the thing is with the mainstay banner, it says here that the initial race for six star Arroyan is 2%. If a six star Arroyan is not drawn in 50 recruitments for getting a six star Arroyan in the next attempt goes from 2% to 4.5%. So it will increase 2.5% and eventually I goes to 100%. So that's really cool. I remember looking at some other information, it was 1%. So 2.5% increase over time is even better. That is absolutely amazing. And then this is going to list all of the possible characters that you can get from this mainstay banner all right so feel free to pull on the mainstay banner and then jump back here into the beginner banner and ideally you know whichever like team that you roll for here in the mainstay banner it correlates with the beginner banner so for example if you rolled sharona in the mainstay banner then you would ideally want someone like sariel within your beginner banner that would be like the case just note that in the beginner banner you cannot select the character all right it says like very clearly in the text you cannot select the character just note that you are guaranteed one of these four units and then when it comes to the mainstay banner you note know, the 2.5 percent increase over time all right 2.5 percent instead of one percent now when it comes to this i feel like water teams are the best i'm going to say it a lot and Raphael right here she is the best character when it comes to tile converters mostly because she can convert tiles and she can also heal the entire team there's not very many characters that can provide a, a crazy heal like her while also resetting all non-blue grids on the entire screen. Just note that this is on a three turn cooldown or a three round cooldown. So she's not going to be spamming it, but whenever she does do it, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Kalyan, of course, is another great one because she's a tile converter and a teleporter. But just note, Raphael is definitely going to be the one just because she has a heal and heals are so good in this game and not to mention tile converters. They essentially change like the tile from whether it's like red or yellow or green to the appropriate color so that everyone can do their attacks and everything, right? And then I pretty much say like Raphael is like one of the best utility units in the entire game. And then when it comes to fire, fire doesn't really have any healers. So that automatically default picks to Victoria. 
Now you can use other characters like Uriel. Uriel is a good top converter as well. But the thing is with Victoria and her being a healer, if you stack her with nails, they have like this thing where so long as the character is bleeding or the enemies are bleeding, you will essentially get a heal. So with nails plus Victoria, you will essentially be healing your fire team, which is insanely rare for your fire team to do because they are known as the burst comp, the ones that deal like damage upon like just entering the field. So, you know, it's really nice that the fire team has like a healing capability in the forms of Victoria and nails where they're essentially healing damage in order to heal so very true to you know all in on the damage when it comes to fire teams all right water teams are definitely a lot more laid back because they have the heals they have the top converters they're a little bit more consistent and way easier to play and then when it comes to the forest units they are probably the most difficult and they also have like the coolest mechanics in the game you have hero here who can do like self buffing and also top conversion and then you have gabriel here who can do top conversion and also you know deal some a little bit of damage well she's more of like your like tile converter versus hero who's like a tile converter plus damage dealer honestly if i were to pick from the two i would definitely go for hero mostly because she is waifu and i like her design but then you could also go with midgard midgard has like this teleport plus 300 like damage capability it's up to you how you want to do it this is more of like a boss killer character and more of an end game character whereas someone like hero and gabriel can help you in the early game so i wouldn't really worry about midgard i just wanted to just put that out there and then you're is going to be your four star healer if she is still a healer this is all based off of cbt information just take a note of that and note that their stats aren't that different after max upgrade and it looks like technically midgard is going to have the lowest health just note when it comes to all of this this is all based off of cbt data so maybe their stats can change, maybe their abilities can change, but that would be really awful to say the least. Lastly, we have the Thunder Crew, the yellow characters. Nadine is going to be your four star healer. This is going to be Sorla. This is a five star DPS leader or DPS character or Aurorian as you should say. She's gonna be absolutely amazing because he has the ability to kill all non-boss monsters under 10% health. So he has a crazy AOE, not to mention he can increase his own attack and defense by 12%. For every Thunder or Lumopolis Aurorian, so there's a lot of Lumopolis Aurorian, so you can essentially stack him, you know, with a sort of like dual attribute sort of deal going on here. Honestly, you should really use him for a Thunder team, but we'll show like a funny team that Julie Wen ran and actually worked for him during CBT. Ridden, that's going to be like the classic pick for this. Another Tal Converter. Tal Converters are OP. He or she can deal some decent damage. And then Nadine is going to be your healer plus debuffer. Honestly, you should definitely go with a healer. Note that the healers it's nice that they're four stars so it just makes it easier where you're rolling between these different banners you obtain a healer while also obtaining a tile converter Sorla is probably the first like attacker that we've talked about and same with midgard but usually the deal is get a tile converter get a healer run a full team of tile converters and you'll probably be successful as well now when it comes to this here's going to be a summarization on what i said for who to reroll for if you want to play on easy mode pick Raphael. You know, pick the water team. If you want to play in medium difficulty, flick the thunder team. That's going to be a little bit harder, but it's still balanced because, you know, you have like sort of the top converters, you have some heals, you have all these things going on. Fire is going to be really hard. This is like your glass cannon sort of build with Victoria plus nails, because remember Victoria is the one with the bleed. Same with nails and Victoria needs those bleeds in order to deal damage. And then lastly, you have the forest units. As you can tell with the forest units, they were not as straightforward as the thunder, water and fire units. So they they also don't have that many healers, nor do they have that many top converters. They're probably the hardest team to run. Just note that you are going to eventually need all of these different teams. So don't feel like you have to pick one. I'm just telling you which one will be the easiest when you play the game. I highly recommend running water because you also get vice absolutely for free. That's going to be a character that's within the game. She's just going to be like the main hero that goes with like the actual like main character. So make sure to use vice if you can with Raphael. And then here's going to be my reroll messages for you. You can either reroll for a mono team, two teams, waifu says bondo, and absolutely do not burn out when it comes to reroll, all right? Here's going to be the little triangles on who's weak to who. As you can see, water beats fire, fire beats forest, lightning beats water, so on and so forth, forest beats lightning.
looking, okay? And then here's going to be an overall idea of how your team should be sort of looking. Your captain should be a DPS. You have one healer, two converters, and one flex. Flex can be like a teleporter or a DPS or whatever like sort of character that you need for your situation. Just note that Julie Wen was the one that wrote this. And this is going to be their team when it comes to the CBTs. I like how Sorla was a lightning unit, but they still used Barton, Raphael, Hydred, and Serio with this team. So just note that if you have to, feel free to run whichever best DPS that you need. DPS is probably the character with the most flexibility, whereas tile converters, healers, and converters try to keep it within mono. But of course, you know, feel free, you do what you need to do in order to run the teams that you need to run. But you are going to have plenty of roles when it comes down to this, whether you're going to be starting with 120 roles with the 12.33 multis at 116, or you're gonna do the 1-4 rush and get the eight pulls right here, and or the 16 pulls from the beginner banners if you're you know really trying to go all out. And then we finally talked about all the different ways to reroll. I highly recommend Salted Email. Use tempmail.org, use like those fake emails and just go to town with those. I don't advise BS Tweaker. You can use the root ID method if your phone's already rooted. And then of course, feel free to do the clone instance. And just to circle back really quick, this is how I downloaded the game. You can put this on your blue stacks, whichever, or you can jump over here onto the actual blue stacks, go into the home menu, click on Q app, and you can download it via the Q app, you know, sort of APK right here. That's how I did it just now. But honestly, it doesn't matter which way you do it so long as you follow the ways that we showed with the salted email i think you are going to be good for this reroll methodology anyways if you made it this far consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment follow me on twitch follow me on twitter once we hit 25,000 subs we're doing a giveaway thanks so much for watching have yourself a fantastic day all right everyone we're here on the youtube random comment picker we're going to be on this video this is the monthly classified contracts where i said if you commented you would be winning the giveaways possibly all right let's go ahead and copy this link right here paste it into here filter duplicate users and exclude myself from the giveaway as i should not be winning all right and yeah that's it get youtube comment who's it gonna be 165 unique comments let's go ahead and pick the random winner from the monthly classified contracts video hello katie you are the winner this video makes me feel better about just having regular hill day cries and free to play well hello kitty congrats on winning this giveaway 22,500 to you for this one we'll drop the details on the community tabs on what to do in order to verify and everything the next video for the 22,500 giveaway is going to be summer Kokoro guide so let's go ahead and click share copy and let's see who's going to be the lucky winner for this one hello kitty being the first one on that one filter duplicate users exclude myself get the youtube comments who's going to be the winner 63 unique comments much less than the last one who's going to be the winner who is it miso too late six starred her and fully equipped my lolly elf mom <laughs> congrats on winning miso you got the 22,500 giveaway for this video so to the two people who left a comment hello kitty and miso please drop me a dm on discord on twitter however way you need to contact me in order to claim your 25 dollar giveaway i'll leave you know more information in the community tabs thanks so much let's jump back into the video and i will see you in the next one good luck on your rerolls everyone